Welcome to Stonewash. Today we're talking about Jurassic World Dominion. If you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button and click on that bell so you can notify for future videos. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And yes, after going out to the theater and checking out Jurassic World Dominion, I gotta say, this movie was okay. Now, having only watched Fallen Kingdom last night before I saw this movie, in prep for this movie, I gotta say, I kind of like this one a little bit more, even though some of the story elements from Last Kingdom did play into this thing. I mean, I asked somebody on Facebook or Twitter, I can't remember which, I said, do I really need to watch Fallen Kingdom before I see Dominion? And they said, yes. So I'm like, oh, all right. Now, I'm a huge fan of Camp Cretaceous over on Netflix. I love that series. It kind of ties into this show just like the Clone Wars does to Star Wars as far as I'm concerned. I mean, maybe not as deep, but it does tie in. So I'm really curious on how Season 5, which is supposed to drop on Netflix, I believe on July 15th, on how that's going to tie into this movie. Now, I think I found a quite a few nods and easter eggs to that show without them actually really saying hey remember the show on netflix but maybe it's just me i mean i'm curious to see how that show does tie into this movie because that whole series is pretty much weaving in and out of these three jurassic world movies so i can't wait to see how that actually all plays out with that series and where that actually ties in i think i have an idea but i'm not really positive so I'll have to get back to you on that one. I mean, this movie wasn't all that bad. It wasn't great either. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was really cool to see the OG characters come back from the Jurassic Park trilogy into this thing. I mean, it kind of tied in, even though I think the um, they always go bigger line from Jeff Goldblum in the trailer was not in this movie. I didn't, at least I don't remember seeing it. And I thought for sure, I could have swore I saw some video on YouTube saying that there was a credit scene to this movie. I stayed for the credit scenes and i didn't see anything so yeah it's all the whole marvel thing right so but there was no credit scene just so you know it's not really much of a spoiler as far as that goes i don't know i thought this movie was was all right jurassic world dominion is a 22 american science fiction film directed by colin trevorrow and written by trevorrow and emily carmichael based on the story by trevorrow and Derek. Conley. It is a sequel to Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom from 2018, the final film in the Jurassic World trilogy and the sixth installment in the Jurassic Park franchise, and also the conclusion of the storyline of the Jurassic Park saga. As with its predecessors, Frank Marshall and Patrick Crowley produced the film with Trevorrow and Jurassic Park 1993 director Steven Spielberg acting as the executive producers. The film is set four years after the events of Fallen Kingdom, the dinosaurs living alongside humans around the world. The film was planned early as 2014 as part of the future Jurassic World trilogy. Filming began in February of 2020 but was suspended in March due to the COVID-19 pandemic. It resumed in July and concluded four months later. Filming locations included Canada, England's Pinewood Studios, and the country of Malta. Unlike its two predecessors, Legendary Entertainment was not involved in the film's production as Universal ended their partnership with the company in 2019 after the expiration of of their four-year deal. Jurassic World Dominion is distributed by Universal Pictures and premiered in Mexico City on May 23rd of 2022 and was theatrically released in the United States on June 10th of 2022 in IMAX, 4DX, Real D, 3D, and Dolby Cinema. Starring in this movie, we have Chris Pratt, Bryce Dallas Howard, Laura Dern, Jeff Goldblum, Sam Neill, Dewana Wise, Mamadou Ache, B.D. Wong, Omar C and Campbell Scott, just to name a few. Now, Jurassic World Dominion is coming out of opening weekend with a Rotten Tomato score of 33%, with 291 top critics so far reporting in. Now, over on the audience side, we're sitting with a score of 79%, so a little over three quarters of the 5,000 plus fans writing in the Rotten Tomatoes kind of like this movie. I'm in that realm of, I kind of like this movie. I mean, I liked it. I had a lot of fun with it, but it's not the best movie I've ever seen. You know what I mean? Now, with a budget of $185 million and this being billed as the final installment of the Jurassic Park franchise, I don't know if we'll actually see any more after this. I mean, we got that series coming on Netflix, and that could be it for the whole Jurassic Park franchise. I guess it all really depends on how well it performs in week two. Because right now, they made almost $400 million opening weekend. So if they could keep it to where they don't drop more than 50% going into week two, this thing might actually have halfway decent legs and make some good money and they maybe they might reconsider and maybe they might make a seventh movie to the Jurassic Park franchise but we just have to wait and see on how well it does I mean it's competition in the next couple weeks is going to be pretty damn steep I mean we got Lightyear coming out this weekend and I believe the Elvis movie comes out 
the following weekend after that. So I don't know, man. I'm definitely looking forward to both them movies. I mean, I like this movie quite a bit, but as of right now, still, Top Gun Maverick is my top movie of this year. Now, I gotta say, I think that Colin Trevorrow did a pretty damn good job with this trilogy. Even though he didn't direct the second movie of this trilogy, he was still heavily involved. And he's really heavily involved as far as that Camp Cretaceous series goes. And he's pretty much took all that series and these three movies, and he's tied it in pretty damn good. And then with this movie, I thought he actually brought in the elements from the... Jurassic Park trilogy into this one pretty damn well. I don't know. I, th I think he did a pretty damn good job as far as like bringing all them elements into one movie. So I don't know, man. I think I'm going to stop it right there so I can keep this as a non-spoiler review. I mean, I only saw it once and it just came out this weekend. So I'll give everybody a chance to actually see this thing. Maybe I'll go into a deeper dive in about a week or two after everybody had a chance to actually see this thing. And then we can get all ready and speculate what we're going to see in Camp Cretaceous Season 5 because that's the nearest Jurassic Park thing that we're going to get, right? So so did you go out and see Jurassic World Dominion? Let me know in the comments down below. Where does this rank with you out of the trilogy? Let me know in the comments down below. And where does it rank with you as far as the whole entire franchise? Let's go. And did you watch Camp Cretaceous? If not, you got to go see that show. So like I said, man, this movie was all right. But it's worth the watch, and it's definitely worth matinee. So let me know what you think in the comments down below.